This short instruction film has been put together to show you how to fit and release dummy sash lock. This is a complete corner set of dummy sash lock, a frame packer attached to a sash packer, a paddle plate, a top plate, a sash plate and a carriage cap. Dummy sash lock packers are profile related. This is a flat sash packer and this is a Eurogroove packer. We'll show you later how they're fitted. On a frame packer fit a paddle plate. This is held in place with the two up stands on the central pillar. Slide into position. The dowels on the end of the frame packer will locate it in the correct place. We recommend that you use 4.3 countersunk screws. To complete the assembly, fit a top plate, again using 4.3 countersunk screws. The sash packer has a similar locating dowel as a frame packer. To put it in the correct position, we recommend use of a metal plate or a plastic packer in this case, in the opposite side of the euro groove, you then push the dowel up to it to locate this in the correct position. Again, we also recommend that you use 4.3 millimeter countersunk head screws to locate the sash plate onto the sash packer. This is a flat sash packer and it's fitted exactly the same way as a euro groove packer. Use a plate at the end of the sash to locate the dowel in the correct position. We recommend you use the release label at this position on the sash. The centre line on the label should line up with the centre screw on the sash plate. This dummy sash has been fitted to the outer frame using stays and two dummy sash locks fitted at the opposite corners. It's now just a case of closing the sash to obtain the correct compression position. Opening dummy sash lock is made simple by using the recommended tool. Place the tool in between the marks on the label, flat against the sash. Push down between the gasket on the outer frame of the sash itself, right to the bottom, and then in the second movement, roll forward. This releases dummy sash lock in the corner. Repeat the same action in the opposite corner. Put the tool down between the lines on the label, down in between the gasket on the outer frame, push right down, and roll forward and the sash will open. Occasionally when you're opening dummy sash lock it will go into what we call lockout. That's because you haven't pushed down far enough to try and release the paddle plate. This sash is now in lockout and it will not move forward. So what you have to do is relocate the sash lock and then start again. Push right down and roll forward. To make it easier for carriage purposes, you can use the carriage cap. Push it over one of the arms on the sash plate and then push shut. This will hold the sash in place until you get to sight. Then all you have to do is open the sash, take off the carriage cap and locate the dummy sash lock. For fully glazed sashes, we recommend you use dummy sash lock on all four corners. For more information, see our general fitting instruction leaflet.